This is our new style photo booth. This is called the social distance booth. We wanted to create this booth because of COVID-19, because we wanted to keep guests safe. And so that way there is no more use of physical props because this machine is 100% digital. So what this does, it has digital props, filters, and many different styles of picture taking. It is 100% battery operated and usually lasts about three to four hours on a charge. If the power ever did get low, we can plug it directly into a wall for that source. When the guests enter the booth, this is what they're going to be greeted with. The home page, in a sense, has like different types of templates that be customizable, but usually the more flashier ones look better, so guests can be greeted with something. Then you have your different picture modes, which you have still, GIF, burst, and you have the gallery, which I'll show you later what that does. So when the guests come in, they pick one of these three. So I'm going to start with the still. And then you'll see a preview of what it's going to look like. You have two modes. You have horizontal and you have vertical. And it'll show you what the template will look. So you can put a footer, you can put a border, you could put different types of things that will overlay over the image. So for this example, I'm going to go pick horizontal. So obviously, you do not see the words down there, but you will see them once when the picture has been taken. Here are your digital props that, you know, that guests can go choose whatever they want to choose. We have many different types of theme props that can be done, like for holidays, weddings, like special bends, birthday parties, and all different types of other things. So for this example, like one of my personal favorites, the, how I like to use is the dog mask. So as you can see right here, it puts it directly right over my face. And when you pick the prop that goes on the person's face or head, if you have two more people, the exact same prop will be automatically put on their face. So it does a pretty good job of tracking it. As long as people don't move too fast, it will put it on there. When they pick their prop, they press start. Start counting down. And so see how now how the footer shows? So now they can choose whatever types of filters they want. And when you click it, it'll show you an example. And they can choose different ones. So for this one, let me just pick the no filter. And here's where you can do it for your email or text message where they will be sent like directly to their device. For this example, I'm going to press skip because it's because I'm going to show you the purpose of the gallery. The next one I'm going to show is the GIF. As you can see, it is doing three pictures and it shows a preview of what it's going to look like. So this one, I'm going to pick vertical. Okay. So now I'm just going to go click these uh, the fun clown glasses. So this one's going to take three pictures and I'll show you how it works. Start. First picture. Third picture. And last one. There we go. So it shows you how exactly how it's going to look with the GIF. Same style, you can pick different filters. I'm going to pick, you know, like some of them usually work better than others. I'm going to pick this vintage one. And same process here, they can put the email text message. I'm gonna press skip again. And the last one is the burst. This particular mode here, I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like, how it'll take up to 16 pictures, and it'll create a little bit more motion. So same exact thing, show exactly what it's gonna look like. Usually on this particular mode, you really do not want to put props because of the face tracking will not show it as good. So usually none is best in this case. Okay.
Okay, so there's what it looks like with the burst. And I'm going to put something a little bit more crazy. I'm going to go put this invert one. Same thing. Here it is. And I'm going to show you what the gallery does. And so let's say if a guest, like for some reason, uh, did not uh, put in the correct email or cell phone number, or they just accidentally, you know, they just walked off or they didn't even like, uh, or they pressed the skip button by mistake. What the gallery does is they can go back later to the photo booth attendant and they can go to gallery and they can find exactly, you know, like which one they're missing. So obviously here, that's the one that, I like my most recent one. So I can just go to here and then that's what it will look like for the email. And then here's where they, where they can go put it for their cell phone number. And if that, like, and then usually, like, uh, and the final thing, too, is that the client will receive all of the digital images in which we'll be uh, putting it on a flash drive of all the stills, gifts, and bursts. And so they can do whatever the image is, whatever they want with it, and they can share it with more family and friends or put it on their social media sites, and they can show exactly what the whole experience is. I hope that this video was informative, and let us know if you have, if you have any questions in regarding this booth or any of our other services. Thank you.